Hi, I'm designer Jen Gallagher and welcome to this Card Inspiration YouTube Hop. I've invited two other fabulous designers to start us off on the hop. Lee began by creating a card. She then sent the card image to Kimberly. Kimberly used that image to create her own card and make her her own style. She then emailed me the image and then I am creating a whole new card based on the inspiration that Kimberly sent me. Now the fun thing about this particular technique is that you can take any card created by another designer or even you and use it as inspiration. In each of these videos you'll see that we had different techniques and different products that we used to create a card. But they all have a similar feel to them and you'll see why when you watch the video. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start with, I printed out both images of the cards, first Lee's and then Kimberly's. Now I'm going to use Kimberly's as my inspiration and she has a white embossed background. And so I took one of my favorite embossing folders and you can use either side if you want a debossed or embossed. And I created this white on white card. I'm using a standard A2 card size. I'll just attach that to the front of my card. And you can see that like Kimberly, I placed mine, or cut mine rather, a little bit thinner than the width and the height of the card so that there's a little bit of an edge around it. Now, something that's very me that I wanted to add to the card is some texture with doilies. And so I'm just gonna add this to the very center of the card. Now let me show you Kimberly's card again. She has a tag that's on top of some strips of pattern paper. So I'm gonna alter this just a little bit, but I'm totally inspired by what she did. And I'm going to take a pre-made card from American Crafts that has definition on one side, and it is white. Now you could change the colors. We all went with a white background, but you could also be inspired and change the colors of the background and simply use the design as your inspiration. Now rather than place the pattern paper behind, I'm going to take some washi tape. This first one is from Echo Park Paper, and it's pink and it has little girls that are playing. And I'm going to stack these onto my card. Then I'm going to take some yellow from We Are Memory Keepers. This is a yellow stripe. And I just picked out some colors that were inspired by the cards they made. Sometimes when I'm pulling off the washi tape, I won't get a full piece. And so I'll rip it until I can get that full piece again. And then we can add it to our card. I'm going to overlap those two just a smidge. And then I'll finish it up with some teal tape and I like to alter the sizes or make sure the widths and sizes are a little bit different for each one and so we just overlap them a little bit and then I'm going to bring in something that is again me rather than the hearts that Kimberly used I have die cut some leaves from yellow textured cardstock and I'm using a glue pen to add adhesive to the back of it and I cut one as the full shape and then I trimmed off this leaf on this side so that they didn't look identical. Another thing that you could do is you could cut one from the top of the cardstock and then flip the cardstock over and then cut it again and that way you get a leaf that points this way and a leaf that points that way. So that's one designer tip. Then for the sentiment, I took a Heidi Swap die cut that says Bliss, and I'm leaving the center in some of the letters just for fun. You could also use a paper piercer and poke those out. They are designed to come out, but I thought it was fun to leave them some solid. Again, I'm using a glue pen. I find that for these more detailed cuts, a glue pen allows me to really get adhesive exactly where I want it. This is a longer die cut, so you just want to make sure that it doesn't go too far off the edge of your card. 
And then to add some texture, I'm going to bring in some enamel dots, some yellow, in a couple of different sizes. And then we'll add two at the top as well. You could also bring in some other colors if you wanted, just to kind of dress it up a little bit. So again, here is my card that was inspired by Kimberly, who was inspired by Lee. And here's what they look like side by side. So you can see that we all had our own take on the card, but they end up being very us when we've completed the card. Thank you for joining me for this Card Inspiration YouTube hop. Below, in the video description, you'll find direct links to each of the channels, including links to the videos that show the cards that were created before mine. Take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're looking for additional inspiration, be sure to visit jengallagher.com. I have classes, printables, ebooks, and more to choose from. If you're interested in any of the products shown in the video, you can use the affiliate links below to begin shopping. Look for more inspiration coming soon.